Hey, so here we are. We are at G. James Golson Middle School in Prince George's County. We are here to surprise one of our Eco Challenge winners, Miss Balgen's class. Let's go inside. All right, here we go. Mr. Thompson, nice to meet you. Okay, so we're going to go surprise Miss Balgen. She has no idea, right? Okay, let's go. Hey, how are you? Y'all excited? Y'all okay? What's going on? Hi, Ms. Balogun, how are you? It's good to see you. So, Lorenzo Hall with Channel 9. Nice to meet you. So, do you remember applying for our Eco Challenge, entering the contest at all? Yes, I believe it was about uh, maybe a month ago or so. A month ago. You're pretty excited about that project? <laughs> yes, because it was something that I just thought would be something fun and great for the kids. Yeah. And it would be able to, you know, expand. Um, the things that we're learning in class yeah. and help them to elevate yourself and empower them. Well, guess what? Yes. You're one of our winners. <laughs> so tell us about this project. One of the things that we're going to be facing in the future is basically like the lack of water that we're going to be experiencing. So one of the things is uh, taking showers, taking baths, how much water that we actually use. Through the course of the day, instead of you being able to just use your water, yeah. like freely, whenever you want, yeah. whenever you want yeah. it will limit the amount of water, you're, the amount of gallons of water you're able to use per day. Oh man, so you're taking shorter showers on. You gotta, yes, you gotta be exactly, mindful of it. Yeah. Exactly. We, we wanna see this come to fruition. Yes. So we're gonna bring in our friends at Washington Gas here because they're gonna help us out with this. Woo! Big congratulations oh to you, Miss oh Balogen. Well, on behalf of Washington Gas, we are proud to present this $5,000 check to you um, on your Eco Challenge science project. We look forward to seeing what you guys come up with. Oh, you sure can. <laughs> Thank you, Washington Gas! They were so great. So fun, Zoe. So. While they develop that, they're encouraging us in the meantime to be mindful of our water usage, okay? So I shorter think, showers, Yeah. okay? When you're washing dishes. I think that dishes. makes sense. I mean, when, you, when she made the point about you may not be able to use your water as freely as you do. Yeah. You may have to time it. I mean, that that's a reality. You got to think about it. You yeah, can't just stand it. in the shower and, you know, just take your time. That's going to be fun to see. Mm -hmm. And you're going to go out and see how this process is going along, too. Yes. Yeah, so for the next step, the Smithsonian Education Science Center, they're going to meet with the teacher and students to help them develop their project. And of course, we're going to update you on the progress every step Another of the way. Another great school. Yeah, great, they're great story. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, tomorrow, sports director Darren Haynes, he's not going to be left out of that. He's going to reveal our final Eco Challenge winner. This time, we're headed to Northern Virginia, so tune in to see who else won that $5,000 tomorrow evening right here on WUSA 9.